Hi everyone, this is Miles from Quadcopter Land. Today I'm a little bit excited uh, because I just did a, recently did a video on the pros and cons on the Phantom 4 Pro. Most of it I found out was from firmware. Today I was on the phone, I spent a lot of hours today trying to figure out a way to try to fix this firmware issue. I went ahead and decided, you know, I'm going to go ahead and try rolling back this firmware. I was on the phone for about two hours with a friend of mine in Atlanta and today we were talking he, he was having problems also same problems I was having with my Phantom 4 Pro so we both at the same time reverted back our software on a DJI 2 assistant and lo and behold it's actually working like it's supposed to uh, I think I'm going to keep mine with the old firmware instead of the current firmware that they had on there because that firmware is flawed literally flawed uh, for you guys out there who are having no problems with that firmware, that is great. But for you guys out there who are having major problems with the firmware, I can tell you right now, ever since I installed it on my Phantom 4 Pro, it was flawed. I had all types of issues going on between the fluttering, between the, the tilt on the gimbal, all types of issues. The bird even fell out the air one time when I pulled the stick down on the left, on the left stick and I had to save it by turning it back on and putting the remotes together. So with that being said, uh, I'm not going to even go through the list of all the things, but one thing I can tell you is the friend of mine, he noticed immediately that his camera, he could see further up, unlike before where he could only see straight. I noticed the same thing on my bird. Another thing I noticed is when I'm taking off, it's nice and smooth again. It's not as rough as it used to be. That's another thing I noticed. Uh, no, I noticed another thing too is when I'm turning on my camera, I mean the, the camera when it turns on now, before. I always had the horizon tilt, the, the horizon tilt every single time. Now when I turn it on, it stays exactly where I said it the last time. So that's also nice. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to revert back. Until DJI comes out with a better firmware and a better fix, this is definitely the route you need to go because I talked bad about the app as far as it crashing most of it. It seems like most of it actually had to do with the actual firmware on the bird itself. Ever since I've been started back on the bird, now on my tablet, it just pops up like it's supposed to immediately. As before, I had to turn it off, turn it back on, turn on. I even purchased a iPad Mini 4 to see if that helped. That didn't help at all. It was actually in the firmware itself. Now my tablet works just fine like it did before I did the firmware update. So with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to roll back the firmware and uh, we're gonna go from there. And you guys leave your comments below and tell me what you think. So let's go ahead and get this show on the road. Okay, for all you guys out there, these are for folks out there who are actually having a problem with their P4P after they did the firmware update. So what you wanna do is you wanna roll it back. Just like any of the other updates, make sure your battery is 100% charged, make sure your remote is 100% charged, and while you're doing the update, make sure that your remote control it is on. So we're gonna go ahead I'm going to show you how you're going to get in there. You're going to sign into your account, which I'm already signed in. As you can see here, it's going to tell you to plug in the actual USB to the computer and plug it into the bird. So we're going to go ahead and do that now. I'm going to go ahead and plug in the USB into the bird. As you can hear that prompt, it's already ready to go. Now, it should pop up. P4P on the left hand side as you can see you're going to click on that and on the upper left hand corner it's going to say firmware right here so you're going to click on that now as you can see here I've already downloaded back to the current which is 01.01.0203 that's the one that I've had the less problems with so I went back to that one so how you go back to that one? If you're currently on this latest version here, it says upgrade right here. But if you're already there, it should say downgrade like right here on the lowest one here at the bottom. Mine before it said downgrade, so all you gotta do is hit the downgrade button and just follow the prompts and download it. And then it's gonna say upgrading to that particular firmware. When it hits a 99%, don't shut it down. The bird will shut down by itself. It'll turn back on, they're going to say 100% complete, and then test your aircraft. Shut your aircraft down and shut it back on, and that should fix most of the problems for you folks out there that did the upgrade. Because I know for me, it definitely fixed the upgrade. 
Once everything's all set, all you got to do, turn off the Phantom 4 Pro, turn off the remote, way to disconnect everything, we're going to test it out. One thing I did notice immediately is how well the bird turned back on after I downgraded back to the original firmware. So we're gonna go ahead and give it a test. Let's just see how fast it connects now compared to the way it used to connect. Turn on the actual remote first. Go ahead and turn on your tablet. Go ahead and turn on the Phantom 4. Hold the button down and hold it again. And this should turn on. I don't know if you heard that. Uh, but the app just popped right on up. So, but like I said, once you go to fly, it's gonna it's gonna let you know that you're gonna need a firmware update. So, if you can deal with that, that may be a better option for you. At least you got some of your functionality back. But I'm gonna go ahead and start the motors. That sounds perfectly normal. Before it made this. Hey, Click, click, click. Once it starts back up, that wasn't normal. The motor sounds a little bit smooth. It sounds like it's a little bit more stable. We shut down the motors. Nice and smooth. Another thing, my app, it's not crashing. Normally it crashes by now. But right now, it's working like it's supposed to work. So that's fantastic. If you guys have any questions, please leave some comments below and I'll be glad to help. Like I said before, for you guys out there who are not having any problems, go ahead and leave your bird alone. Now, this is not for you guys. These are for the people out there that's having major issues with the Phantom 4 like I had and how to go ahead and correct those issues until DJI comes out with a better firmware. This is what we're going to have to stick with for us to enjoy our birds. Otherwise, like I said in my last previous video with the goods and the bads, you're going to have a lot of headaches. So right now, I'm real happy. I do got to do some more tests on it. I'm going to do some more tests and post another video for you guys. But for right now, I like it the way it is right now because I did test the obstacle avoidance a little bit a couple minutes ago. That seems to be working well. I did a little flight inside the house, but it, it still worked. So uh, you guys just stay tuned and uh, I will let you guys know in a couple days uh, when well, my next day off of work, I'll go ahead and post another video for you and tell you how it's working out with rolling back to the old firmware compared to all the headaches and issues that I had. If you guys liked all the information I gave you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Have a good night.